Patty the Patty Pimper. The official weight for Patty Pimple. One, thank you, man. Division of former UFC interim champion Tony Ferguson. One fifty-five and a half. Hey, baby. One fifty-five and a half. The official weight for the legend Tony Ferguson. One, thank you, baby. As I'm getting ready for the weigh-in show, so I am dressed up in my weigh-in clothes, uh, Christmas pajamas. That that is a necessity that we need to do. But I am here with Wonder Boy, and he is about on weight. Let's go, baby. This kid doesn't even cut weight. Look at him. He's just chilling. Still jacked. Still jacked and tan. Perfectly white teeth. He's ready to go. <laughs> Pops over here. What's up? What's yes, up? sir. And Mr. Tyler Minton. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get out. All right, we are at right, 171. Steven. The initial weight for Steven Wonder Boy Thompson. One, thank you, baby. 125. 125. The official weight for the champ, Alessandre Pantoja. One twenty-four and a half. One twenty-four and a half. The official weight for Brandon Royball. One twenty-five. One sixty nine and a half. One sixty nine and a half. The official weight for Colby Covington. One, thank you, baby. One sixty nine and a half. One sixty nine and a half. One sixty nine and a half. The official weight for Leon Rocky Edwards. And with that, the UFC two ninety six main event is official. Allow, remember the name Muhammad. <laughs> One sixty nine and a half. One sixty nine and a half. The official weight for Bilal Muhammad. Thank you, man.
Oh my gosh, Snake Paul. That's a that's a one out of ten fit at best. The guy's a clown. He's not even a real fighter. He's a poser. He has to fight forty year old washed up fighters because he can't beat nobody in their prime. So he's a joke of a human. I don't even know why he's on this screen. Ugh, Logan Paul even worse. Both bums. I will say one time he bought me a bottle of wine though when I was at the Hard Rock Casino. So. That was a nice thing. He knew a real fighter was in his presence. He, he's not a real fighter, so. So the reason I love this fight with Pantoja and Hoja stands his ground. He stays along the fence and he just waits for you to step into the pocket and then he throws haymakers. And you see him just miss a right hand on Schnell here. Boom, that one just misses. And then the next time he comes in, he lands that overhand right, bam, and it floors him. I mean, he. It's the same punch twice, but because Snell is stepping into the pocket and consistently grinding and trying to pressure him, he walks right into the power punches. And that's what Pantoja does because you have to pressure him to, to take away his momentum. I think we're gonna see this out of Rival. The difference is Rival doesn't just walk straight in. He pushes and pulls, push and pulls, he faints, he switches stance. And I think we're gonna see a lot of teep kicks and jabs to keep the range. And then he's gonna wanna pull Pantoja in the way that you just saw Pantoja pull in pull in Schnell. <clears throat> and then he throws, Royval throws the knees up the middle, the uppercuts. So it's gonna be a really fun. You can see these guys got knockout power, finishing ability. I'll see you guys there. Chandler knockout was rough. The kick? He got front kick <laughs> right to the jaw. There's a photo of yeah. Chandler's foot connected on Tony's yeah. face. It's like a dolly painting. It's wild. Yeah. It's wild to look at like what happens to someone's face when a foot impacts their jaw. I mean, that, that's a perfect kick. And look at Chandler's quads. Imagine how much power is in that. Good Lord. <laughs> Good lord, look at his body. He's just a ball of tense muscle just exploding on your face. Pause. <laughs> Mali, he's really fast long reach knows how to use his reach well he's really good footwork uh, the thing that we don't know though is what his gas tank looks like and that's what i was banking on for my fight with him that the longer the fight went because of the fight with jan he started to gas he was huffing and puffing you could see him sucking wind in that fight halfway through the second round and you're just like oh this guy's a, a one round fighter so i do think the longer the fight goes with cheeto the more it favors cheeto i'm not saying sean doesn't have room to improve he does I, I think he knows this going in that he can't get tired against a guy like Cheeto, otherwise it's going to be a, a bad night for him. Of course, I will have a 
stronger bond and a more deeper connection with our team. I'm not going to fake it and say I don't and it's all ego because it's not. I was here for our team. To me, you know, Conor is my brother, you know, um, he's, he's helped me uh, throughout this whole journey, obviously, and I always try and repay him, you know, the same way. Many months later. Uh, proper 12 for a whiskey story, you know, a few people know it, but this was actually my idea. Autumn is a rat, na 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 na, hey, na 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 na, hey. Atom is a rat, na 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 na, hey rat. Well, I, for me, is loyal is number one. If right. you don't know what is this loyal, you have to go Google Translate. 